Welcome to uh, Applications of Derivatives Lesson 11, which is Optimization Part 2. Okay, we'll just get right on it. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and read that and then we'll get started. Yeah, I know, really stupid names. I'm sorry. So I'll go ahead and read it and then we'll get Okay, so what is the closest the two runners will get? Well, the distance between them, that nice, beautiful uh, Pythagorean theorem, equals x squared plus, yes, the, the slate is still not working. Sorry about that. I can't even get it to connect right now. So I have to do it by hand. All right, so what is the child's distance from fast lane at any given time x equals whoops not 4 300 minus she's moving at 14 uh, feet per second and then how about Jerry he was originally 160 feet away and he's moving at 12 feet per second so let's go ahead and rewrite our uh, Pythagorean equation three hundred minus fourteen T quantity squared plus one hundred sixty not plus one hundred sixty minus twelve T Oh, this is so frustrating having to write it this way. Okay. So, d squared equals... Hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and take the square root of that. d equals... 300 minus 14 T quantity squared plus 160 minus 12 T quantity squared all raised to the one half power. So T prime equals one half this right here alrighty let's see here two times three hundred minus fourteen t times negative fourteen chain rule plus 2 times 160 minus 12 T times negative 12 chain rule minus 14 T quantity squared plus 160 minus 12 T quantity squared all to the one-half power nice square root 
Okay. Set that derivative equal to zero. Let's see here. That would be negative eighty four hundred plus three hundred ninety two T. I just distributed a 2 and negative 14 times this, so negative 28 times those, plus negative 38, 40, plus 288 t, once again. 2 times negative 12 is negative 24 distributed times the 160 and the 12 t all over 2 times some stuff to the 1 half power. I don't really feel like writing that out. The slate's not cooperating. Not easy to write. Okay, multiply both sides by this denominator. Combine like terms in the numerator. And you get uh, negative twelve thousand two hundred forty plus six hundred eighty T negative six hundred eighty T equals negative 12,240. Sorry, it's not easy to read. Not easy to write either. T equals 18. Okay. Let's make sure that that is a minimum. D prime. 18 okay we'll pick uh, 10 as a number and when we do that the numerator let's see here that would be negative 280 uh, let's see here that would be wait a minute no Wow. That will end up being a negative, and when you pick 20, it will be end up being, being a positive, but you always have to confirm using a first derivative test that uh, this is a minimum. It is a minimum. So let's go ahead and find out how far they were apart. So we want to find D of 18. Put that back up into the original equation right here. And when we do that, we'll find that d of 18 equals 73.75636 feet. So that was the closest that they got. 75.75, sorry, 636 feet. All right, let's move on to the second equation, or second example. Two hallways, one 10 foot wide, the other 7 foot wide, intersect at right angles. How long is the longest ladder that can be carried horizontally around the corner? And the reason it's horizontally if we did like tilt that ladder it could be a greater distance but then we're talking about multivariate calculus which is third semester college calculus so we have to keep it horizontally so that we're just we can make it in terms of one uh, value okay the length of the ladder what is that length Wow, oh, I can't write ladder even 
looking at the picture, the length of the ladder equals x sub 1 plus x sub 2 as we're trying to turn that thing around the corner. We've made a couple of alpha angles that uh, because of the corresponding angle uh, postulate they're going to be the same size. Alright, so what is the cosine of alpha with this triangle right here? Cosine of alpha is 7 over x sub 1. And let's go ahead and look at the other alpha, 10 and x sub 2. Sine of alpha, the other triangle, equals 10 opposite over the hypotenuse, x sub 2. So x sub 1 equals 7 over cosine alpha. And x sub 2 equals 10 over sine alpha. Okay, so we're going to make this uh, length be a function of alpha. f of alpha equals 7 over cosine alpha plus 10 over sine alpha. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that as a, uh, I'm going to move these up to the numerator and change the uh, exponent, so go ahead and do that. Now that I've rewritten it with negative exponents, I'm ready to take the derivative. And the derivative f prime of uh, alpha equals negative 7 cosine alpha to the negative 2. Chain rule says take the derivative of cosine negative sine alpha minus 10 sine alpha to the negative 2. Oops, I missed that. Times the derivative of sine alpha, which is cosine alpha. I will rewrite that now, so go ahead and rewrite that. I also took the liberty of uh, getting, uh, getting a common denominator and uh, rewriting it. Okay, set that derivative e equal to zero. Multiply both sides by sine squared and cosine squared and you get seven sine cubed alpha minus 10 cosine cubed alpha. Okay, go ahead and solve for x and come back. All right, I meant to say solve for alpha, not for x. And I got tangent of alpha equaling the cube root of 10 over 7. How did I do that? Well, I first uh, added 10 cosine cubed alpha to both sides, divided both sides by 7, divided by both sides by cosine cubed. So I got 10 over 7 equaling tangent cubed of alpha. Took the cube root of 10 over 7, that's tangent alpha. Now I'm going to do inverse tangent to find out what alpha is. Using inverse tangent, I got alpha to be 0 0.84407. And then I'm going to put those that value right here to find out how big x sub 1 and x sub 2 are. So I'll go ahead and do that. Putting it back into the original uh, um, values for x sub 1 and x sub 2, I got x sub 1 being 10.54 feet and x sub 2 being 13.37 feet. So the latter at maximum can be 23.91 feet. Just under a 24 foot ladder. And I know I did not find out if that was a relative min or a relative max. You should go back and do that just to make sure. All right, this will conclude. Uh, applications of derivatives, less than 11. Optimization, part two. Sorry about the bad writing.